Hi, John Capobianco here, and I'm here to show you how you can integrate Gemini CLI into your GitHub repository. That's right. This extends beyond just a terminal. The Gemini CLI can actually integrate into GitHub Actions and workflows and do some amazing things for you as a GitHub maintainer and operator and owner. Really exciting. Now, there's a little bit of friction, but I think that's because I'm on WSL. So let me show you this. First of all, this is the repo you want to look at. GitHub, Google GitHub Actions Run Gemini CLI. And it really is as simple as getting your Gemini key, setting it as a secret inside of your repository. Now let me stop there. Meaning, in my repository, if I go to settings, and I go to secrets and variables actions, I've added Gemini API key here to this repository's actions, okay? The next thing is, they kind of skip a step. I would recommend you get clone that repository locally and go into the folder. As you can see, I'm in the folder and then launch Gemini. Because it notices there's a dot get hub right a git tracking folder we can do slash setup github now because i'm on wsl and we're going to always allow that i get some errors they can't find a browser because i'm in wsl however what that will do is set up your github repository if you're on windows proper or mac now if you're on wsl ubuntu do not lament do not despair you can do it manually copying workflows. So they give you this example workflows folder with three examples, a PR review, an issue triage, and a Gemini CLI. I've already added the Gemini CLI, but let's go ahead and, and add the issue triage. So we're going to use an automated one, and we're going to just copy all of this code and go back to our repository, and you can see I have a Gemini CLI workflow under Actions, right? All workflows. Where did my workflow go? Let me go back. I'm sorry. I've... So here's my workflows. And I have this Gemini CLI workflow. I'm going to add a file here create a new file and we're going to paste in that YAML code and save this as Gemini automated issue triage .yaml or YML commit changes commit changes so now I have two automated workflows and we're going to go into actions and just keep an eye there's no workflow runs yet because I haven't run any workflows and that is kind of it. So we can review pull requests. We can comment and add it. We can do issue triages. And we can do general assistance. Explain this code change, suggest improvements for this function, etc. So let's jump into it here. And let's open up an issue. And actually, let's get the name of the file. The other thing is, was there anything else to show you? I don't think so. I think that's all. All right, so uh, let me get a file name. And let's take a look at this and see how we have this workflows folder now with our workflows. Okay, um, cvereport.md. Let's make an issue with this file. New issue. Issue with needs a summary table. Could you please add a summary table to this CBE report.md file? Okay, I just have to admit, I did have to tweak the YAML files a little bit. They didn't work as is. I had a couple of little hiccups. So I've ironed those out, and I will push those uh, back to the main repo. So let's get back to it. So, um, you know, more or less the same prompt. An issue I'm going to open under the packet conversations repo that I've enabled the Gemini CLI to participate in. So we're going to create this. Now we're going to watch the workflows here. This is really neat. 
we can see that we've got a queued workflow as soon as that issue was created. And we're going to go in here and we can see that it's in progress now. We can see the workflow file, right? This is the workflow that I've told it, you know, along with Google. And now we're going to triage the issue. So you can see it's actually installing the Gemini CLI. And if I expand on this dot E, sometimes you have to refresh the page for that to work. We can see the workflow in action. So we can see that the, here's the steps and there is a terminate step. Now I thought this has failed in the past and it actually succeeds. We're just going to be very, very patient. But check it out. Enhancement, documentation, GitHub Actions added these, and it is an enhancement, and it is the documentation. Right now, this was done automatically by the Gemini CLI and the GitHub Action that I've tied in. Now, I'm hoping this wraps up and check it out. It's all happy. Everything is all done here. So I have a nice successful GitHub action. Now for someone like me, let me switch back to our personal conversation. I have over 200 GitHub repositories, maybe 250. For me to track issues is a significant amount of my time. In fact, I try to do it every couple weeks on the weekend, catch up on my GitHub issues on all my repositories and open issues and things. If I could have them tagged and, um, you know, dealt with in a certain way that's one thing now let's go a step further this is really cool so me as john capobianco the owner of this repo i'm going to invoke the gemini cli and say uh, are you able to deal with this please thank you comment now check this out what we're going to see is in a second a response from the Gemini CLI as a comment that it's going to go ahead and try to take care of this for me. And if we go into the workflows, you can see here we have this new workflow started using the Gemini CLI, so a different workflow. And this workflow is quite interesting. See, so check it out. I've received your request and I'm working on it now, robot. All right, let's just follow the cookie crumbs here. Follow the rabbit down the hole. So we already have a response. It's going to deal with it. There's all the information here. Right, and it's got some instructions. Uh, hang on a second. Oh, I fixed this. I thought I fixed this. Okay, so now let's try to invoke it. As you see, I did have a, a request here. It didn't quite work out. I made a little bit of a tweak to the YAML file. And let's see, are you able to deal with it? All right, and we're going to get the response back again. I've received your request and I'm going to work on it. We see a workflow kick off right away here in the Gemini. And we can see it's moving along quite nicely and I've received your request that I'm working on it now with the robot all right now let's see if the tweak I made uh, has any effect it's getting an error um, about special characters so uh, let's just see if I've worked around that with some prompt engineering to be clear this is beta and it's new and um, I'm totally fine with these little hiccups let's take a look at this and see how far we get here Right, do not substitute right any of these because that was throwing the error that it was finding some some special characters or something. And we just have to be patient. And I know this seems slow as a viewer of a video, but we, you know this is less than a minute so far. We see all the steps and how long they're taking. Okay, I'm not, I'm going to, oh, don't worry about this listeners thing. Here we go. Okay.
I've added the CVE summary table to the report as requested the changes are in issue branch. I can't do pull requests due to permissions. That's fine. Please create a pull request. You can visit this pull request by visiting this URL. So I'm going to visit the URL. I'm going to say adding table. Create pull request. Merge pull request. Confirm merge. And now let's take a look at that report. And we're going to delete this branch. So now if we go back into our packet conversations, this was updated one minute ago. And there is the summary table. And it didn't remove any of the existing report. It simply added this summary table. Right? Now this is all done through. The other thing I want to point out I have some GitHub action emails that I didn't have to set up or do anything. That's all just part of GitHub, right? So automated notification, driven through comments, driven through at Gemini CLI, just deal with this, right? So pull request comes in, it gets tagged, prioritized. If you had multiple people in your team, it would actually assign it to the right person based on their skills and, you know, give me the tags. From there, I can just say, this is just a documentation update. At Gemini CLI, deal with this comment or this issue, right? Done. There's a branch and pull it in and away you go. Really, really cool. So, I have some other things in my mind and if I get them working, I'll be back pretty soon with a new video regarding how this could be used in conjunction with Model Context Protocol. That will be my next endeavor. Thank you.